Hi, I'm Katie Thompson. I live in Cape Town and I'm an interior designer. Recreate is a business that I started three years ago and I take junk or discarded, unused things that people are throwing away, which I often label as junk and I repurpose them and combine them with high-end finishes. By doing all that, create a range of high-end repurposed furniture, lighting, and interior accessories. I always use junk um, because I'm a, I'm a hoarder and I've always had a love for, for junk and for things that people throw away and, and, and discarded things. I also do a lot of custom-made work where people will bring me things that are either um, sentimental to them but are broken or just that they don't necessarily know what to do with and that they're going to be throwing away anywhere and we'll recreate them into something functional for them. I love browsing around Monroe's even if I'm, not, if I'm not looking for something. So it's close to me. I also live in observatory and I can spend hours in the shop just looking at everything, touching everything, feeling everything. To most people, the things in Monroe is, is junk, but to me it's an absolute treasure chest and I love the things in this shop. At the moment I'm working with Mercedes-Benz SL car parts, making them into furniture. This is a Mercedes-Benz SL car dashboard that I'm going to be making into a office desk. I'm going to be using timber for the desk surface and stainless steel for the legs, for the base. I probably do pencil holders or a business card holder here. The brake pedals, this is my favorite part that I'm gonna be making. I just saw them and I saw these holes and it was almost a, an instant idea that I had that they would, they would be pen holders. We're gonna use, we're gonna make them into clocks. Um, it'll be a three time zone clock. The mirror is going to become a, a desk lamp um, so it's going to uh, be a freestanding desk lamp, it'll stand on a base and um, it'll be tilted and the, the mirror will be taken out and that's where the lamp will shine. It was so long ago and I've been working with um, the steel company and the owner Peter. I'm not very technical in my thinking and he's obviously very technical an engineer and all um, and so we really worked together very well. Well the biggest challenge with the chair was actually that it was three or four times heavier than I imagined but I managed to get around that by taking out quite a lot of the components underneath that we didn't that weren't required for a chair. 